In this video, we are going to explain the different steps to the scientific method. The scientific method is a process scientists follow to study the environment and explain the things that happen around us. This way, they get new knowledge and useful application for humanity. The scientific method. Step one, identify the problem or make a question. In our case, we want to know what happens when we mix hot and cold water? And does hot water float over cold water? Step two, make observations or do a research. Uh, we have to observe the things we know already about hot and cold water, and we can research in books, internet, encyclopedias, or other studies to know things before we make our experiments. For example, about observation, we can feel that when we are swimming in the beach or in the swimming pool, sometimes we feel water at different temperatures. Why does it happen? Uh, also, when we are eating something hot and we mix it with something cold, it, uh, it becomes warmer. Does it happen at the same piece in all the space at the same time? And also, we can observe that when we boil water, water vapor goes up and water vapor is hot. Would that happen too with uh, hot water? Step 3. State your hypothesis. This is a step you have to take the knowledge you have and think and guess what will happen in your experiments. In my case, I think hot water will float over cold water. Step 4. Test your hypothesis or make an experiment. This step has several uh, sort of steps. We have to find out the, the materials we need and we have to make the experiments. To perform this experiment, we need a glass of cold water, a glass of hot, hot water with food coloring to make different hot and cold water, and a shimming. We pass to make experiments. We take some hot water with the syringe and we add it very slowly into the cold water glass and we observe what happens. Some experiments have variables, that means aspects that change, and a control set that does not change. This helps scientists to differentiate which variable is responsible for the changes that happen in the experiment. Step 5 collect and record the data and results. Uh, we have to observe what happens in the experiments and uh, record in video or writing all the information we can get from the experiments. That is data, data is the information about the experiment, what the information that we can use to make conclusions. In our case, we have observed that hot water floats over cold water doesn't go down and it doesn't mix with cold water, it floats over it. You can see it because it's darker and it's over the cold water. Step 6. Study and analyze data. We have to look at the data we have extracted from the experiment, the data we have collected, and check what does it mean. We want to know how that information explains the changes and how does it explain the observation we have made. Step 7. Make conclusions. When you have finished your experiment and you have studied the data, you have to check that your data support your hypothesis. If they do, you have finished and you have the answer to your question. If they don't, you will have to perform another experiment or change a different variable from the experiment you have just performed. In our case, we have checked that hot water floats over cold water. So we have the answer to our questions. And the question was, does hot water float over cold water? And the answer is yes. After we have made an experiment and made conclusions, we can have new questions and we can uh, perform new experiments to answer those questions and apply again.